Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Kyle Lurvis, your favorite tinfoil realist, not theorist. Uh, we're going to get into a little bit of a crypto update today. So, get over here. Oh, shit. All right, let's start. Let's check the markets out. What do we got going on? So, I don't like to use CoinMarketCap so much. I really like uh, LiveCoinWatch, just because I've got my fucking charts and shit all set up the way I want it. But, uh, oh, baby, we're not filling out McDonald's applications anymore. It looks like we found bottom, and we're on the rise back up. Oh, uh, I don't know. Monthly doesn't look great, actually. Tether looks great. <laughs> uh, so we got Bitcoin. Uh, it's up 8.81% over the last 24 hours. Ethereum up almost 20%. Cardano's up almost 25. Binance up almost 20 or over 20. XRP still hanging in around the top 10. Uh, the big push is Matic, man. Everybody's getting back into Mat Matic. Back up 68%. Ooh, I might swing that trade right now, actually. Let me go. I got to check in. I'm not getting in on SHIB again. Let's check in on Phantom. Because Phantom is basically Matic on a layer one, but it's a layer one. So fucking fast. Yeah, they're 40%. So I'm going to keep riding this one out because I think it's going to see bigger gains than what Matic's seeing. So uh, just to give you, I use both a lot. So let's use let's use Matic right now. We are gonna use the Matic blockchain right now. So let me get on my MetaMask onto the Ethereum network. Ether. Okay. Connect to MetaMask. Come on. Alright, we're gonna do some horsey racing. Welcome to my stable, DMT Racing, the prodigies of DMT Prodigy. I got Crypto Coffee, a Z4 exclusive Nakamoto stack. She's a gal, a filly, hasn't had a baby yet. I would like to breed her at some point. Um, but I gotta, get, I gotta get me a colt, or hire some studs. Anyways, let's get into a race, folks. I think I'm class three. Uh, here's a good one. Go down to Nashville. Ooh, gate nine. Okay. Enter. Confirm. Okay, we gotta sign it. This is Matic. I'm, I'm current. This is Zed Run runs on Matic. So this is as fast as Matic goes. Not so fucking bad. Definitely an upgrade to Ethereum. For sure. So, we are officially scheduled in the race. Okay. So, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep an eye on that for now. Actually, let's sign up for a couple races. Let's get, let's get horsey into a few races. So, what did we sign up for? We signed up for a 2,000. Get into a little 1,200 meter race. Let's go, Keith. I'm definitely not making money by racing this horse. You definitely need to find your, a horse that makes you money. But this has been a fun way for me just to spend money. <laughs> I've got a sick fucking horse. Breeding-wise, anyways. Not all... You could have a shitty horse that breeds a fucking incredible racer. From what I've heard, anyways. I don't exactly know. Learning. I'm learning the space, folks. There's too much shit. Like, this crypto world, like, it progresses too fast. Like, I can't do all the shit I want to be doing. I want to learn. I want to run a dope-ass stable. But I also want to be able to fucking play in Sandbox and uh, Decentraland. And then do DeFi. Like, farming and airdrops and it, like you can't keep up these big crypto influencers like they have to hire people just to fucking run shit for them nfts like these uh see the most recent one is um the trunks 
it's like trees. Some kind of, you meant a tree. Some people have ancient trunks and gold tire swings and shit like that. But like, I was watching Kobe, uh, Crypto Cobain on Twitter. And he was going at it. He's just like, yeah, you could literally do this as a 9-to-5 job trying to roll like a good tree. Alright, so we're all signed up for, for three races. Alright, let's go keep checking with the markets. So, let's keep going. Basic attention token, doing not so bad. Uh, what else? What are some ones that I'm interested in? I mean, there's so much. I remember when E-Gold shot up big time, and now it's fucking catered back down a little bit. It's impossible to keep up with all the fucking chains. The center, oh, I wanted to buy this yesterday, because they fucking... Out of my favorites list, it had the largest drop down. It's almost at the point where, as long as it's a good project, I don't, I don't buy meme coins, really. As long as it's a good project, it's going to fucking make it back up. I'm I'm really uh I really think we all need to get wrecked. Basically the fiat world needs to move into the digital world. And then we'll all get wrecked with digital fiat. And then we'll find oh we had Bitcoin sound money this whole time. And it's gonna take time for the Lightning Network to catch up to like all these protocols and stuff, but I think we all need to get wrecked uh digitally with this fiat proof of stake networks and the whole world the money system is going to move digitally we're going to get fucked up in this world and then and then we'll find the free the, the sound money um all right so what's lunar crush saying today so this lunar crush it kind of tracks fuck social sentiment social volume uh you know, honestly, not bad for, like, if you get in on this early, or you, like, kind of see it at the right time, and then you can, you can pick up on, on some of these coins that go fucking nuts if they're at the top of this. Rune is back in there, eh? A lot of fucking shit I've heard of. Pig Finance, Bakery Token. Oh, Elon Gate is back. Boom Network, Chainlink, Sushi, Sushi is cheap. Oh, buddy. $10 Sushi? I don't know. That almost seems like a trade I need to make. $10 Sushi is fuck all, but Phantom. Look right there. Boom. Number 24. We're up 47% already. I'm fucking... I really don't think I can make a better trade than Phantom right now. It was just in the fucking Monaco Grand Prix. Ah, uh, there's some interesting... I've never heard a lot of this shit. Waves is a good one. Fusion. I see Fusion um, a lot with, uh, with Phantom. Mentioned with Phantom. Check out the Influencers. So, I believe Influencers basically goes like... You can you can pick the coin directly. Uh, so like for instance, Coin Telegraph. This is interesting. Coin mention frequency: seventy-two percent of the time it's Bitcoin. Point three percent of the time it's Shiba Inu. They've mentioned Hedera. Interesting. Hedera Hashgraph, man. That's like there's some rumors that basically. Uh, whatever the fuck his name is, I forget the founder of Hedera, but he basically was making, as he was creating Hedera, the Phantom guys, uh, basically stole the tech, hence why he had to patent it real, try to patent it real quick, whereas Phantom's open source, but they basically stole the technology of Hedera to Hashgraph. Hashgraph went to protect it by patenting it, Phantom went, no, oh, we don't give a shit. Hence why it's so fucking fast. Oh, let's see what Pomp's saying. Coin mention frequency. I'm excited to see this, actually. Who? The boy is Bitcoin heavy. 98.7% coin mentioned Bitcoin. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can go into the actual coin itself. 
and then look at the influencers. We got a good galaxy score. We got a great alt rank, number 12. That's a great. Just wish we were on more fucking exchanges. Most influential. Oh. I follow all these guys. And you're on a DeFi, that's a great account. He really teaches you a lot about how to how to actually use DeFi. He's got some great YouTube video tutorials. Most engagement. Need a coin. I've never seen. Most posts. Wiz, I like this guy. Oh, World of Umans. I bought an Uman yesterday. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah, so Lunar Crush, this is a great fucking tool to use. Oh, what? This is cool. Let's do some fucking around here. I want to see Binance, Matic, and FTM. Wow. I imagine these are gonna follow Maddox. Look at that, eh? That's that's super interesting to see. But dude, when you just break it down, like I, I honestly, oh, we better check out our races. Are we in a? Oh shit, we're live, folks. We're in the place. Oh no, we're not. Just kidding. I forgot all about our races. Oh shit, we're in fourth, fifth. Come on, come on, Orzy. Damn, we missed our race. I think I'm in another one here. 52 seconds. Let's get this one going. Okay, here's our... Where am I? <laughs> Number seven. Number five. Oh, she's going slow right now. Oh, we've got our internet real bogged down right now. Oh, come on, baby. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. I see you. Go, Orzy, go. Come on. Oh, what are you doing? Go. Third place, baby. Get ready for this. Oh, we made the podium. How fucking perfect was that, folks? All right, we got another one right here. They're about to run right now. Whew, that's awesome. We got third place. First fucking race of the day. It's great news, folks. That is great. Are we all done our races? Think so? All right, where's Crypto Coffee? Where you at? All right. Oh man, just wait till you can like go to the bar. I watched a, a Zed Run uh, video because some of these guys run like crazy stables, like they're fucking doing this for money. Um, and the guy was basically talking about like I've got like a thousand dollar horse. You're eventually going to go to the bar, and there, there'll be a TV in every bar that just has Zed Run, and you'll be able to buy, you could, you could have a $1,000 horse and bring your $1,000 horse in your phone, scan it to the TV and join races, or you could buy fucking $10 horses, and that'll be a thing. Like People will, will breed just $10, $2 horses um, as the adoption gets big, but this is, this is going to be in every, every bar. Like, you can see the sports gambling is, is getting a lot more lenient in a lot of places around the world. They're realizing, why not try to get the tax dollars off of it? People are going to gamble anyways. 
Dude, Crypto Coffee, we're doing all right. Usually don't like to sit in the beginning, in the front, in the beginning, I find. Because then there's always this, like, yeah, couple horses fucking shoot by. But this is a long race. This is a 2,000 meter one. Oh, we've fallen behind, folks. <laughs> we've fallen way behind. There's usually one more little boost up. Who's going to get it? Oh, SeaWorld is just running off with this shit right now. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, go, Crypto Coffee. Go, baby. I see you trying to catch up. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. Look at this Come on, we. No podium this time. Nope. Oh, brutal. Seventh. Seventh place finish. Damn. Did SeaWorld win lose? Oh, wow. SeaWorld lost. The slide of hand with the win. Got Code Monkey in there. That's funny, eh? Code Monkey. Uh, Ron Watkins? QAnon? Code Monkey? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, folks, that's that run. Um, are we in another one? I don't see my third race that I entered. We must have, uh, we must have lost or already finished that race. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, no, we're, we're signed up for that one. It's full. I don't know why it hasn't sent over yet. Let's get in on the Irish. Oh, class two. Oh, wait, we moved up a class. Oh, shit. We did. We are class two horse now, folks. Moving on up in the world. That means we're definitely not going to win another race. Now we're racing good horses. <laughs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. How are we doing here, folks? All right. Let's see what the transactions are doing here. So this is a cool website called Transaction Street. Kind of shows you a little South Park version of uh, Ethereum versus Bitcoin. You can actually pick almost fucking. Oh man, they got the Lightning Network now? This is basically showing you what's going on with all these transactions. Oh gosh, it's, it's funny watching this. He's like, oh, let's go fast. Pack up that 83. Look at the low fee line. That's hilarious. <laughs> They're like, we just want a, a transaction to go through, maybe. We're willing to wait and see. Oh, that was cool. That was weird to watch. Oh, this is like fucking so amusing to watch. I love this website. Oh, cheap gas right now. Cheap gas right now, 77, down from 83, and that's gone. All right, what else we got going on here, folks? Looks like things are still fucking pulling their way up. Ladies and gentlemen, did we find bottom? Did we find bottom and that's it? We're about to skyrocket to the moon? It's wild to think that Doge is just hanging out at 34 cents now. We bitched and complained and laughed at my Khalifa when she bought it eight cents, thinking that was the top. It dropped to four cents. It just, after Bitcoin, one of the biggest crashes in crypto history, Doge is just hanging out at 34 cents. It's literally worth half of a Canadian dollar. That is fucking insane. Because it inflates at way less than the Canadian dollar. Oh, man. But yeah, so what I, want to, what I wanted to kind of say here, so we know what Matic does. We're using Zed Run. We see Matic. Um, Phantom, I like Phantom better. Phantom's faster. It's cheaper. It's a layer one. There's so many. The DeFi is incredible. The amount of projects that are ported to it are absolutely incredible. But... Um, 
Yeah, so wait, when you... You see Matic... Look, we got a 9 billion market cap. Total market cap, 15 billion. Circulating supply, 60%. 10 billion max supplies, 6.1 circulating. So that's, what, 61%. And we know what Matic does, right? So 10 billion market cap, that's going to keep going up. Uh, let's go down to Phantom and just understand potential gains here because so, so phantom number 98 581 million market cap so for it to get to 9 billion 10 billion that's like a 20x and guess what Circulating supply? Want to, want to talk tokenomics? How about 80% already circulating? Not 60%, 80% already circulating at a market cap of half a billion. Just to reach Maddox level is a 20x. Like, just saying. Just saying. I'll show you a transaction right now. We're going to do a transaction right now. Go spooky swap. I'm just gonna show you how fucking fast this shit is. Alright, we gotta change network over. And that's automatically. Okay, we're on Phantom Opera. This is spooky swap. This is a great this is my favorite decks, to be honest. They put so much effort into their artwork. Uh it's just so well done. Like this is a gorgeous little site. So let's swap something. Are we on the right network here? Okay, I am. All right, let's go do. Oh, I gotta connect my wallet. All right. Zoo. Swap it for Boo. Zoo for Boo. Zoo for Boo. Let's... Sling a thousand. No, let's sling. Let's, let's sling uh, five thousand zoo. I guess it's eight boo. This is the road it's taken. The zoo is going to turn into wrapped FDM, and then it's going to turn into boo. Nineteen zoo fee. That's the liquidity providing fee. The gas, nothing. Look at this fucking gas fee. Are you kidding me? Let's view it on FTM scan. Back to sushi. Cause are we done already? Yeah, that shit's already done. Shit is already done. Oh, maybe not. Let's check. Yeah, yeah, that transaction's already done. The transaction finishes. Oh, there you go. Twenty-six seconds ago, we got thirty-three block confirmations. <laughs> it's fucked. It gets so fast, it's fucked. For nothing. For fucking nothing. Like, the gas is nothing. It's insane. Folks, half a million dollars. They're tracking COVID supplies in fucking India. Afghanistan. Pakistan. They're running the e-government and running central bank digital currencies for Tajikistan. Like, it's insane, folks. Anyways... Uh, this was our market update for the, today. You can uh, throw out those McDonald's applications. Looks like we have found bottom. This is not financial advice whatsoever. <laughs> you might need to keep the, the application. Who knows? But shit is starting to boom here a little bit. Today, this is gonna be a fun. It's gonna be a fun weekend, folks. Wow, Matic is just flying. I don't know what to do. Do I get on the Matic trade or just sit on the Phantom trade right now? I'm selling a bunch of Phantom, but I've got this my Binance trading account just for fuck around trade money. You know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a quick live trade here.
Uh, let's see. Just, just witness these. Uh... Oh my god, look at these BTC charts. Oh, that's a fucking beautiful dip. Phantom just looks so good against Bitcoin. This is one of the only shitcoins that looks good against Bitcoin. This isn't a shitcoin. Wait, just look at that chart. All time highs. Holy fuck. We're about to go nuts. I'm gonna sit on this. Fuck that. We're ready to support line here. I might get support for. I don't know. I don't think I can make them out of trade right now, though. Oh, damn. Look at that chart, eh? See, I actually don't even like this chart as much as Phantoms. I don't like this chart as much as Phantoms at all. Because that's a big spike. I mean, you could keep running. But there's nothing. There is nothing anywhere else go off of whereas we go back to phantom <coughs> oh. we've got a couple previous all-time highs to fucking there's levels to this already that we can test retest shoot through dude i'm fucking i'm sitting right here sitting on phantom not making the trade dramatic although i just signed up for a horse Go back to our horsies. You sign up for a couple more races? Oh, I gotta fucking sign this shit again? Alright. So. Oh, do we. Oh, no. We must have lost the class 2 race. Now we're back to class 3. This is a problem. You get stuck in this fucking middle ground. Get the horsey racing crypto coffee. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's quickly go through uh, some news here. What all we got? So this site, Crypto Panic, it's a news aggregator. Fucking awesome. Just grabs from. Oh, fractional NFTs to private equity, how convergence is democratizing investment. See, this is what I mean, like, remember remember this whole, like, tokenize the world thing? Yeah, that's going to happen eventually. Like, there's no reason timeshares shouldn't be completely blockchain-oriented. I know it's a big thing for Canadians to have timeshares in Florida and stuff. There's no reason that shouldn't be done on the blockchain. Uh, as fundamentals of Bitcoin remain unchanged... Which way do traders move? Folks, it's just fucking weak pussy hands getting shaken out here. Institutions aren't selling their Bitcoin. I'll tell you that right fucking now. Weak paper hands getting shaken out of the system. People using mad leverage getting liquidated like motherfuckers. That causes the massive corrections. We about to fucking skyrocket from here. Hong Kong's trying to ban everything. Uh, anything that China bans, I'm for. Because they like to ban free speech, they like to ban internet, they like to ban fucking everything. So, uh, so anything that China bans, I am for. Anything that the Pope is against, I am also for. Because that Pope, I swear to God, is a fucking devil. Uh, oh, Russia's central bank confirms digital ruby. Trials to start in 2022. Folks, this is game theory. You're either going to choose a central bank digital currency or something like Bitcoin, decentralized. That's how this goes, folks. U.S. rapper Meek Mill attracted by Shibu Inu coins after grabbing Doge and Bitcoin. Yeah, I seen that tweet yesterday. Getting the shit coiners into meme coins. Anyways, oh, we got some polls. What's going on here? This is kind of cool. I've been on the site in a while. There's been some, uh, some upgrades. Would you buy online goods with crypto? I would. I would do. I voted. I don't see the no results for the vote though. Anyway, that's pretty good. What are crypto and greed and fear? A ten. Holy fuck. 
people, this is bye time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, bye time. Holy. I remember, yeah. I remember when fucking that shit was at 98. Extreme greed. Market is a uh, fearful right now. We got any horses racing? If we got one more horsey race. No. Nothing. Anyways, folks, hope you enjoyed. Uh, Kyle Overschwerk, tinfoil realist, not theorist. Uh, just in case you wanted to know, the Twitter is at tinfoil realist. Twitch, tinfoil realist. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you something really cool. This was a fuck it. I wrote a Bitcoin song a while ago. And, uh, I got a chance to kind of re-record it in the new studio. Uh, I still don't know how to record music, but I re-recorded the song, put it out, and Russell Okung, guy's a fucking hero. Man, enjoyed the bars. Oh, it feels so good. Just this little fucking Canadian white boy spitting bars. And Russell Kuhn appreciating them. So let's listen. Mm. Stock to flow. For the top to blow. Eating market cap like we at a buffet. Warning Berkshire, they can go and suck it. Mm. Oh, that was the part. Fuck. That was the part. That was the part that Okun was like. Fuck yeah. Jack Mallish told the NFL to get your cock bucks away from Okun. Anyways. A fiat money printer's running at a blind rate. Fuck you, Nixon. Humanity feels a calamity, insanity running rampantly, BTC will free society. You're working so hard but thinking you lazy, you can't catch up and your debt adds up. You only went to school and now you got stuck at a job that you hate, but you just keep straight. Working 9 to 5 just to fill your dinner plate. Taking a little from it just to fill the cravings. This is like my third ever song. It's not so bad, right? Only 21 million with the value of trillions. Bitcoin so appealing, guess what? Hard money is healing. Buy Bitcoin. Anyways, I was fucking pumped to see that Russell Kung enjoyed it. Gave me a little bars. Uh, anyways, folks. That's it for this stream. We're going to do a, a travel through the Twitter timeline in a bit. Uh, 